There's a verse in Deuteronomy that says, celebrate your feast together with the orphans. And one of the things that we like to do on these outreaches is think back to our own childhoods and things that we really enjoyed, and then try to do events like that for the kids. So um, when I was a kid, we used to have throw friendship parties and where we would invite um, all of our family friends over and we would have games and crafts and snacks and things. So we decided we wanted to do that for the kids here at the orphanage. I decided to make placements for the children and um, because it was animal theme, I thought it would be cool to have like animal print and different animals like pigs and cows and things from India. Daniel and I, the two manly chefs that we are, we stayed up till 3 in the morning baking cookies for the friendship party. Okay, so I've never baked anything in my whole life, and for the Spoil the Kids thing, we had to bake cookies, a lot of cookies, and I obviously picked that team because I wanted to eat cookies while I was cooking. So at the friendship party, uh, I made American pancakes the first time in my life, and I made 180, so... I think I'll never do that again, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was very good. We had a friendship party for the orphans, and we planned it for over a week, and most of the things that we planned during the week were painting play settings for the kids. It was a tablecloth with play settings for each child. So the kids came in and they found a place, their place setting, which had a beanie baby and a cone, um, like a little gift bag of some pencils and erasers and candy. And they were all really excited to find those. And then we served the pancakes and the kids really loved uh, American pancakes with syrup and jam. There is pancake heaven! And we had to think of clues to give them for the treasure hunt. So a couple of us guys just thought of like goofy riddles that we could write down for them to figure out where it would be in the house. And they had to follow clues around the orphanage until they ended up at a locked door. And when we unlocked the door, the room was full of balloons and presents hiding in, among the balloons. And so each kid got to go in and find their own special wrapped gift. And it was just really fun because I was like trying to keep up with them and they were laughing, just having a good time. The children were gone for the day, it was a Saturday, and so a few of us stayed back at the house to prepare uh, decorations and wrap presents that we had bought. So I was on baking duty and I made cookies. We went outside and covered all of their eyes to bring them inside the house so that it would be an uh, ultra dramatic surprise. And so we brought them all in and we uncovered their eyes in front of the Christmas tree and yelled, Merry Christmas! Count of three, guys! Wow! One, two, three! Yeah! And their eyes just lit up. They were so excited and we had little scavenger hunts for each of them so that they could go around and find their gifts. And then we decorated cookies and then we played with them and then we sang Christmas carols. And it honestly felt like Christmas, but so much more special. These kids I know have never experienced Christmas. Even like the little girls kept asking me, do I get to keep this? Like, is this mine? And being able to say, yeah, that's for you was awesome. It really just hit me that I'm not just celebrating Christmas with whoever. I am celebrating Christmas with the fatherless. I just feel like the joy of the Lord was definitely there during that time because the orphans and the fatherless are the ones that are on God's heart. He he longs to protect them and he longs to give them that joy and he longs for them to be carefree and just laughing like children. 